So this is an exciting day and I'm a little bit apprehensive as well. This is the Meepo V5, my very first electric skateboard. Now, years ago, a long, long time ago, probably when I was about 16 years old, I had a skateboard. And basically what I would do is I always wanted to go faster than I could actually go just kicking around town. So I'd go to the top of the hill, sit my butt right down on top of the deck here and scoot down some of these really super fast hills. So when I heard that I could get something like this, I was super excited. Primarily because I don't have to go find a hill. I've got this beautiful walkway here. So my plan of attack today is to try an electric skateboard for the very first time. It's been a 40 years or so since the last time I actually tried to skateboard. So I'm gonna make sure I do okay. Do a couple of laps, see how I feel. Come with me and let's find out together whether or not I have any balance whatsoever. One thing I noticed right away is the handle. Is that ever cool? I mean, it's actually a pretty big deck. It's about 11 inches wide, but the handle position just makes it super light and super easy to work with. I think it's about 17 pounds. So yeah, super easy. Right out of the box, it looks like it's all set up for beginners, but my super professional cameraman who rides skateboards all the time, electric included, he's pointed out to me that the truck assembly is a little loose. So it did come with this cool little nifty multi-tool if you like. And what I'm gonna do here is just tighten up the truck on both the front and the rear. I'm gonna give myself, uh, let's do a half turn. No, we're gonna go all the way around for one turn, one turn on the back. Oh, I'm already shooting. You are shooting? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. The first 10 feet. We had to tighten up the trucks five times around. So it's definitely designed for somebody who's a little, little thinner than I am perhaps. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we're moving. Okay, I'm gonna give it the beans and see what happens. Oh, geez. So I pulled back on this and the brake went. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going back that way. You just want me to go? Sure. Okay, try and keep up, okay? I don't want you to be slowing us down here with the filming. I actually can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> One of the things I'm noticing is that the remote control is really sensitive, which is nice. The power, like I'm only on the first setting and that's twin 500 watt motors. And it's having no problems whatsoever moving me around. The max weight on the Meepo V5 is 330 pounds, which is way more than I actually weigh. I'm about 265, but I'm gonna try some turning now. It handles the bumps surprisingly well. Uh-oh, watch out for the cobra chickens. Let's check these brakes out. Three, two, one, and whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, wow. So that's interesting. This remote is really smooth. And if I double click, cut, what? I'll just hit if you Oh yeah. <laughs> and if you double forward. click, Jamie got nervous there. He thought I was gonna run him over. And I press this. I can go backwards now. Double click the power, go forwards. This is so cool. 
I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm actually kind of surprised. I'm not actually as bad as I, as I thought I was gonna be with this. So that's kind of nice. It does help that this surface is so beautifully well maintained. So. I think I did okay. I didn't kill myself, which is pretty awesome. My wife was a little nervous. Jamie, my cameraman, was very nervous. Um, you know what, at the end of the day, I'm actually kind of happy with how that all worked out. It worked out really well. It's very smooth. The controller, I think that's what you would call this, is super, super responsive. Um, it, in the, just even the super fine move, movements that you want. You know, I'm a little nervous on some of the corners, so I just wanted to slow down. When I was coming down the hill, the same thing, I wanted to add a little bit of break, but I didn't want full break. It's been really, really lovely. I came in here, sat here, and of, of course, rammed it right into the, the base of the chair, which reminded me right away that it's got a little bumper up front here, and it's got a bumper at the back as well. So that's gonna prevent some of the banging up that you're gonna be doing with a scooter like this. Again, this little handle, oh, really, really handy. Let's flip it upside down and take a look underneath. It's a really gray day today, as you probably have noticed, which reminds me that the IP rating on this, it's IPX5. So you don't want to be going through any puddles, but if it did rain, it should be okay. Um, you should be able to get home with it. There's a really nice gasket here around the battery. The battery itself is pretty small. It's only, um, let me look it up here, 144 watt hours. But apparently, if you're a little bit lighter than I am, you can probably get about uh, 10 miles, 16 kilometers, give or take, with that sort of range, which is pretty impressive. Like, from last mile solution, something like this, just going into a grocery store, sticking into a basket, or uh, hopping on a bus, I think it'd be really, really simple. The controller as well here is at the back and it has quick releases, which Jamie noticed the other day, um, which is kind of nice to see. So that means if there was a problem with control in the future, you could unscrew the quick releases at the back. The actual controller itself has four levels. I started off in beginner. We got all cells all the way up to level three. I haven't tried the fourth level. I think what I'm gonna do with the fourth level is just leave that one alone and maybe invite Jamie to do a proper range test and give us his thoughts in a future video. If you'd like to see that video, if you'd like Jamie to do a full review and give a professional's opinion on the MP on the Meepo V5, put that down in the comments down below. Go for a boot. Okay. I'm on speed mode three. Well, the remote is super, super smooth. Give it some beans, car back and forth. Oh, actually carving at high speed is nice. Okay, braking in three, two. Oh my Lord. Strong brakes? Yeah, super strong brakes. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Handles so nicely. Super flexible. Yeah, this is, this is nice. I'm loving this and just pick it up and I like it but I am really really happy with this as I, I you know a max weight of 330 pounds as I said earlier I mean that's pretty astonishing so for big guys this thing could be pretty awesome Anywho, I'm gonna keep riding around, um, trying different types of surfaces. We're gonna go down by the ocean onto concrete. This asphalt here is a little bit more bumpy than the trail. I just wanna get a feel for it. I'm gonna be doing some circles and things like that. And then I'm gonna do a wrap up and uh, share with you whether or not this is big guy approved, but so far, I haven't killed myself. <laughs> the one thing I will say is that the uh, cement where it's poured cement and you get these big cracks, that's not as much fun. You feel it every single time. But that does lead me to another observation with this particular board, and that is you can update or upgrade the tires as you feel see fit. So, for example, I know Jamie's got some cloud tires, which are instead of, I think they're like just 15 millimeters thicker or something like that, but whatever they are, they're just a little bit more comfortable on this type of terrain. So if you've got cement everywhere, you're probably gonna wanna upgrade your, uh, your tires. If not, don't worry. I'm gonna be doing a hill test now to see if I can get up this side of this uh, cliff back up to the main trail. Here we go, wish me luck.
Full power. We're flying. We're actually accelerating here. This next bit's really steep. If I can get up here, I'll be impressed. <coughs> Not quite. <laughs> Almost. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have it max power. I think it would have made it no problem. <laughs> Let's put it max power and see what happens here. I'll put it to max power for the steepest part of the hill and just see if it eats it up, which I suspect it will. Just getting used to where to put my feet. <laughs> Whoa. Oh yeah. 265 pounds of me and it made it up. Well, I've really been enjoying this. This has been an absolute blast. Thank you to Jamie, who's behind me somewhere, for filming. And uh, thank you to Meepo for sending it to me. This is an absolute blast. Again, I think this is going to be an absolute treat for somebody who has to do, if you're doing commuting, you have to use a bus or a subway. Even if it's a car, you're just parking a car a few blocks away from work, and you want to grab your skateboard to get to work. This is, a, this is going to be so amazing. Um, it was a little hard to get used to the idea of not, you know, having handlebars to get a hold of at the very beginning. And still, I'm pretty sure my foot position is not perfect. But uh, under Jamie's guidance, I've, you know, I think I'm doing better with that. Let me show you. I need to learn to get my feet a little bit more parallel to the direction, like a little bit more this way. So, anywho. This has been an absolute blast. Just a little behind the scenes here. We've got a 78A tires on the front and we've got 83A tires on the back. I found it actually a really lovely ride run on. It's completely 100% big guy approved. It's about to pour down. So I got to skedaddle back all the way back down into Victoria here, riding around on it. I think this is absolutely lovely. It's got a top speed of 28 miles an hour. What's that, six times eight? That's like 45 kilometers an hour. I haven't gone that fast, but as I said before, if you like to see Jamie going a little fast and doing some range tests on this, put that down in the comments down below. 100% big guy approved. Big guy approved.